Thanks again for checking in as we take a look at your National Coast to Coast forecast. I'm meteorologist Todd Nelson. Hopefully you enjoyed your weekend. Looking at the summer solstice here this week, some of the longest days of the entire year for the Northern Hemisphere with us this week. And today we're talking some severe weather in the eastern U.S. Also that southwestern heat continuing and it looks like most of the week will be extremely hot. Uh, tropical activity potential as well. Uh, the National Hurricane Center keeping an eye on a uh, wave of energy in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. So pretty close to home here. But take a look at all the excessive heat warnings and advisories out of the southwest. Temperatures again will be extremely hot. We're talking 120 plus in uh, some locations in the desert. Uh, readings there again 10 to 15, almost 20 degrees above average. And then the central U.S. is uh, cooler than average by 10 to almost 15 degrees. So high amplitude weather pattern, ridge of high pressure in the western U.S., trough of low pressure in the eastern U.S. And on the eastern flank of that today, talking uh, some warmer than average conditions, but also some severe weather. Here's Saturday. You can see the readings again in the central U.S. still below average, but we're still warmer than average in the southwest. And even through early July, uh, it does appear that we'll be warmer than average there. But then the coolest air kind of settles into the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, and the Northeast. All right, today's severe threat is an enhanced risk from west of Boston, uh, near New York, D.C., and then a slight risk from Maine all the way down to the Carolinas. Uh, so by tomorrow, that threat is gone. But we do have some general thunderstorms and maybe some isolated strong storms building across the central U.S. It does ramp up a little bit here midweek. We'll continue to track that front through the end of the week as it uh, pushes east. But for today, there's your main event. Again, showers and storms up and down the eastern seaboard, some of which could be strong and severe. And then there's that tropical feature, again, that the National Hurricane Center is watching. Could bring some widespread, very heavy rainfall to some locations down here, and some flooding. We'll be watching for that. But look at how dry it is in the southwest, where temperatures today in Phoenix will be topping out very close to 120.